This makes no sense. Oh my goodness. So let me just say this. We as a country have been pretty tolerant when it comes to the alphabet. Not the best, but surely not the worst, all right? We've been fairly tolerant, but it has come to the point where enough is enough because y'all have taken that tolerance and just ran with it, okay? And you are running at the speed of light, all right? You, you are giving Flash a run for his money. That's how fast that you guys have been running with this tolerance because I'm sick and tired of seeing these articles and for some reason they keep on popping up more frequently where they keep saying, you guys know the articles I'm talking about, where they're saying trans man gets pregnant, trans man actually gets pregnant, trans man magically gets pregnant, stuff like that. Just absolute utter drivel. And this last article that I saw really just, it just, it was just too much for me, bro. My, my, my brain just, it just shut down and had to reboot because it was uh, a trans man gets pregnant and then feels discriminated by the, the LGBT. I'm like, trans man gets pregnant and then feels discriminated by the alphabet? How does that make sense? And then I looked at the couple. I'm like, who's the trans man and who's the trans woman? Because, bruh, you had this individual and the man looked like a woman, but then there are certain pictures where he looked like a man and I, I don't know what was going on. And you start to think about how white culture, because that's what this is, this type of lifestyle is not prevalent in the black community, in black culture, in African culture, in any culture regarding black people. I know a lot of uh, uh, white people get upset when I say that, but it, those are just the facts. This is your culture, not ours, all right? You may have people who may assimilate into this culture because you have people try to put up RuPaul and uh, 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 what's the other person? I forgot the, the names. But one thing you have to understand is just because I may wear a kilt doesn't make me Scottish, okay? That's not how that works. The same way, just because you may have these individuals, these black individuals who are engaging in this lifestyle, does that, that does not mean that the group or the community or the culture promotes, endorses, or supports that lifestyle. That is what white culture has tried to dominate and tried to force black culture in doing. Now, when it comes to this country, this is another thing. Because when it came to the alphabet, people would say, hey, I'm gay, you know, and, you know that's just born, with, born that way, right? Now, there was no scientific data to suggest that or to, to thoroughly bolster that belief, but America just took it, you know, just took it as fact, okay? We're like, all right, you're born that way, fine. Then it came down to the trans situation. People were like, hey, I was born this way, but I feel a different way, okay? And I suffer from gender dysphoria, and the only way to alleviate this dysphoria is for me to do this. And there was some pushback, but eventually people were like, all right, fine, that's it, they, I don't agree with it, but it is what it is, that's what you wanna, wanna do. By all means, you're an adult, do what you wanna do. It is what it is. Now it's come to the point where we are saying that men can have periods. It has now come to the point we're now saying that men can get pregnant. Bruh, what is wrong with y'all, hmm? What's up, that doesn't make any sense because what you guys even tried to establish was that sex and gender was different, right? That you could have been born a woman but identify as a man. That was the whole concept behind the whole gender and gender dysphoria and trans and all that, right? So if that's the case, how on God's green earth can you then say trans men are men? That doesn't add up. You then can't say trans women are women. Because if you try to be like me, a man, and that's what you're attempting to be, a man, that's what a trans woman is attempting to be, a man. She trying to be me, an original man, biological, 100% man. That's what you're trying to transition as and that's what you're trying to emulate. You'll never be a man because you weren't born that way, but you can adopt certain masculine tendencies, behaviors, traits, facial features, and all that that comes with it. You can adopt that and try to, to emulate that, but you're not. So 
in trying to adopt that and trying to form validity behind trans men as men, trans men are men, then one thing that will surely bona fide exclude you from this group of men is you <laughs> getting pregnant, okay? That completely eradicates the whole concept of trans men being women. That literally then shows that, hey, you're a woman. You're a woman by sex, and now you're a woman by gender, bruh. That's how that works, because no man can get pregnant. They can't get pregnant because they're born a sex as a man. It doesn't even matter if they wanted to be a woman. Say they're a trans woman. Trans women can't get pregnant. Now, that's a whole argument that they try to use to validate them being women, because they want to say, hey, well, there's certain women who are biological women who don't who don't have uteruses or who are sterile, right? Or have barren wombs and you know, they can't get pregnant. So you can't use that argument to try and validate you being a woman and then completely throw it out the window in trying to validate you being a man. You trying to have your cake and eat it too. And it's illogical. This is now just honestly just mental gymnastics in trying to justify and validate you doing your, your alternate lifestyle, whatever it is, how you feel, and whatever that entails. Oh, I, I am this, but I feel this way, but I wanna express myself that way. But stop bastardizing the English language, okay? We already have enough of that when it comes to, the, to, to white uh, conservatives, all right, with woke. We already have enough of that. You guys have screwed up this country enough for us to now try and say that men can get pregnant, they can get periods, I just don't understand. If some of you women would fight back the same way you fight back with your boyfriends or your husbands and you constantly nagging and whatnot, some of you guys have more, have more fervor for your husband not taking out the trash or your boyfriend arri arriving late to, I don't know, to dinner or something or, or back home. You guys have more, more, more outrage then you guys completely being eradicated. And I, I, I just don't get it. it. It makes no sense to me. Now, ladies, you do whatever you want to do. That's on you. But for men, nah, that's not going to happen. Well, it's, it's sure as heck not going to happen. You're not going to say you a man and then go and get pregnant. I can't get pregnant. I'm not getting any freaking uh, 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 a baby in me. And I, that, that's not how that works. <laughs> Bruh, it's even crazy. Even hearing myself say this, it's crazy, okay? So we need to bring some sanity back into the country because clearly we've given the baton uh, to the wrong people and they running and running and running and somebody needs to tell them, hey, you need to get back on the track. You're no longer on the track. You're just running into the forest of stupidity and drivel. Anyways, guys, that's the video. Let me know what you guys think, whether or not you believe. Look, 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 you just sound ignorant, okay? You sound like a transphobe, all right? That's what you have. You sound like a bigot. Or we have believe, hey, don't attack me. Attack the argument or the lack of argument that you guys have presented us. <sighs> Nevertheless, if you happen to disagree, you're more than welcome to call in during disagreement days, which are typically held Friday through Sunday. There'll be a number on screen. You call in, we duke it out. Either or, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, Please feel free to like, share, comment, let me know. Am I, am I crazy? Because I'm starting to feel crazy when I start seeing these articles and people, the same people who disagree with the article, then use the same language to, to, uh, uh, to respect their pronouns or whatnot. No, that, that's not a man. That's a woman. Anyways, and all uh, that fun stuff. Okay, it's not even fun anymore. This is, this is just scary. Uh, until next time, guys. Be amazing. Trans women can't get pregnant.